Hey guys, this is Adam from Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Today we're going to be taking a brief look at the 2018 Cadillac XT5. Most people know that by now that they came out with a totally redesign on the SRX. So this is a reimagining, at least of what I presented uh, to the customers of the older style SRX. And they completely rejuvenized it. They made it look awesome. I'm going to try to go over some of the uh, higher features of this vehicle. From the outside perspective, you're going to notice that this looks like most other ones, but you may notice a few things that um, stand out, such as the clear lens up front. This is a black molding piece. They call it black ice. I don't like calling it black ice. It just sounds weird to say. We're going to go with black molding piece. So they got the black molding pieces for the grill. They got the black molding pieces around the headlights. It gives it a little bit more defined look uh, from start to finish. If you come right to the side, Cadillac, of course, changed their design for the shield here recently. They took away the crest, and so now it's just a Chevrolet Cadillac shield. Also on the outside of this car, you're going to notice that it's got the black moldy piece across the bottom here. And we're going to, they call it a hit the road package. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but the hit the road package is going to give you the molded side assist steps. When we open the door on the, on the other side, you'll be able to see the assist steps just a little bit better. Up here with the hit the road package, you're going to get the uh, roof rounder, uh, car guy rounder, uh, rim. We're going to get it out. It got a little stuck. Coming around to the back side, part of this package that comes with it is these clear lenses like I spoke about them up front. And you'll notice inside here it does have that black trim, black ice, however you want to call it. As you come around to the back side, part of continuing this whole black ice, black molding piece, it comes across the back of the tailgate right through here. It's also going to come across the back trim pieces down here. One thing I did neglect to mention from start, this is the standard collection model. And when I say standard collection, it comes with a lot of extra features. One thing most luxury brands do not give you off the start is the rear parking sensors. On this particular model, you're going to notice that it does have the rear parking sensors. It also has a power lifting tailgate. Most luxury brands don't come standard with it. Our particular one does. Tons of extra space. This is bigger than the SRX was. Um, and you're going to notice it when you first open it up. You may not notice it in the video, but hopefully you can see. It does come with some extra space here that you can tie some things down with straps. It does have an inflator kit as far as for a spare tire, uh, to replace the spare tire. It's do fold down. I'm going to show you from back here and I'll show you a little extra feature from up front. There's a handle here. There's a handle here. I'll pull the switch. And the seats will fold flat. On the key remote, as I showed you in the past, there is a button to hit for it. There's also a button on the inside. We'll get to it as well. And as we take a look on the inside, we have this nice looking leather interior. It's a little different shade than normal. I'm going to call it shell color. You can decide whatever color you want to call it. I'm pretty sure Cadillac calls it um, shell interior. I mentioned briefly about how these seats lay down. There's a switch up here. And here's where I was talking about the swivel. This thing kind of pivots down to make this thing go flat so you don't have that elevated back um, cargo space. Super easy to do, it does it on its own. I lift up, it locks back into place. You're gonna notice on this package, it comes with all weather floor mats. It also comes with the rear uh, device chargers plugging in the back. We're one of the few luxury brands in a mid-size market for an SUV to have the rear vents stationary. Uh, for your passengers So you'll notice when I get in I've got a lot of, a lot of extra leg space and I'm very comfortable It's got stadium style seating seating so I kind of lean back just a little bit But I'm also up high enough that I can see out the front windshield as well It does have a way to access the power tailgate from the front So there's a button here not only can I access it from the front I can access it from the back and from my key remote You'll notice that on this particular model, it does have power windows, power door locks. All of it's located right here. It does have a wood grain finish. It is polished, so it does not have textured wood. Bose premium audio system is standard on our standard model. A lot of other brands do not offer Bose or their premium system um, from the start. It does have a chrome seal plate here for Cadillac. We do have it protected for scuffs for the next person that wants to buy it. We don't want it scuffed up. Premium leather seats, of course, it wraps up just a little bit, gives you a little bit more snug fit when you sit. Power seats, of course, however, however you would have it on the other way, I'd imagine. Alright guys, 
on the inside here you're going to notice a lot of premium qualities uh, that I can't stress enough that other brands don't have. Leather wrapped steering wheel, of course all your audio controls on the left, some of your radio controls are on the right, and when I say audio controls it's got voice activation, it's got cruise control, it's got the ability to change your radio station strictly from your steering wheel. You're going to notice it's got this nice display up front, I can have different types of music on it. Um, I can, I can change the stations if I got my favorite set up. Of course, I don't have my favorite set up on this particular car. Um, but, of course, all your stuff is right here in a cockpit order so you feel like you're in control. It does have push-button start. I already started it. The reason why I started it is I didn't want the OnStar um, activation thing to come on. It makes a noise and it's kind of aggravating. Of course, premium wrap dash up here. You can see the stitching. It's got some embossed leathering here. It's got dual climate controls for both passengers so you can be hot she can be cold how vice versa however you want to handle it um, as long as everybody's comfortable it does have a new style shifter knob over the past couple years Cadillac introduced it and it's simple push a button and it reverse push a button I can go back and forth in the drive it's made a lot simpler than a lot of other turnstile premium vehicles out there and I'm not going to name any names because um, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing them but this is a whole lot easier. Touchscreen radio if you've seen Cadillac Q before then you know what this uh, display does. This is similar to Chevrolet MyLink um, so all this stuff if you've used a smartphone you have used this screen. They made it mimic close to what the Apple product does especially with the icons the way they look. OnStar navigation. It's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto so it's got everything. Push a button, pops up. I can go home, I can go over, I can go left and right. It's super, super simple. It's also got a huge cup holder here with the ability to charge your phone. It slides in, locks into place, you drive down the road, as long as you got your phone connected, you answer it. And tons of extra space inside here. Up top, I did briefly spin my OnStar, it's right here. Of course, I got Home Link, it's gonna give me the ability to open up my garage door from there. Everybody's got sunglasses in the south. We get a lot of sun down here. We stay away from the snow. No offense to the northerners, but at least we don't have it here. Guys, we got plenty of these in stock. I promise you we do. Um, just today introduced, I think you guys are going to be happy, we introduced the lifetime warranty for Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. We have a video that we're going to attach. Please like us on YouTube. Subscribe to us. It means a lot to us. Find us on Twitter. Find us on Instagram. I think that's... The easiest way to get a hold of is ask for Adam if you can't remember it. Um, but let me know how I can assist you. We'd love to work something out.